Good morning, Elements members. This is Coach Beth. We're doing a senior fit class this morning. This is our typically 10 o'clock class. Um, I'm having to pre-record, but um, I'm only two hours in front of you. So I'm happy you're joining me. I appreciate it. I hope you're doing well. Way to take care of yourselves. We're gonna move a little bit and then we're gonna stretch. So let me get things set up here. Move that music so it's not too, too interfering. There we go, I got my, my chair. Armless chair, please. Today we're just gonna use our basic weights. I'm gonna use some kettlebells. Know that you've got the option to use some canned goods or something else in the home that gives you the option to uh, use resistance. I've got a laundry bottle. That's another good, really great modality because it's got a wonderful handle on it. So if you have two of something that weigh the same, it's a good option. Ideally, I want you to have two weights of the same weight so that each arm can work. You ready to move? We're gonna move. Right, right. March it out. There we go. Stand nice and tall, everybody. Happy Thursday. Yep, pick up those knees. Take them wide, here we go. Feet go wide. From here, we're gonna take it to a step tap. So step, tap, right there. Now, instead of a tap, if you'd like that option, get a little more active, you can lift the knee. Step, knee, or step, tap, right? You decide. You got it. Keep looking out at that horizon, keep that chest proud. Don't lift that knee any higher than you can keep the body very stable, especially the hips. We don't want to tuck those hips. Four, three, two, and one. Back to step, tap, tap, tap. Swing those arms a little bit. There you go. Make sure the arms are not going to pull your posture forward or downward. Keep lifting. Each tap requires a lift, lift, lift. I'm so glad you're here today. Pull those abs up and in. Four, three, two, and one. Plant your feet right here. Bring the arms up, open, lift, <laughs> and press. Bring it down. Fold it halfway, lower, and reach it down. Good, so elbows first, keep it small. Rotate halfway, bring it up, reach up. What I want you to do is really listen to your shoulders, halfway down, all the way down, and reach long. Elbows, rotate, uprights, reach, down. Fold it flat, lower, and reach it long. Good, try it again. This is small, definitely feeling the rotator cuff. Don't over rotate, don't over reach. Bring it down, rotate down, fold it down, and lower. One more time, I'm really feeling that in the rotator cuff. Nice way to warm those up. Nice and slowly, I want you to listen to your shoulders. Fold it down, elbows high and lower. Great job, elbows. Elbows, finding that beat. <clears throat> elbows, elbows, good, four. Try not to let my shoulders shrug up to my ears as I do that. There we go. Now we're gonna take that right arm across, stretch it. <sighs> nice deep breath, <sighs> four. Three, two, and one. Switch it up. There we are. Take another deep breath. Great job. I'm gonna lace my hands right behind me, right there. I'm not gonna pull any extra on those shoulders. I don't wanna over retract. I just want to let the arms hang heavily, but find that initial opening of the body without pulling, right? Just reach around, 
Hold right there. Now turn the head to the right. Slowly turn your head to the left. There we go. And again, right. Just looking over your shoulder. Keep your eyes on the horizon. One more each way. And left. There we go. Right on. Place those hands out in front. Pull forward. Good. Now with that stretch, I don't want to displace my spine. I want to keep it nice and long and strong. Instead, just move the shoulder blades. So if you started here, feel free to slide the shoulder blades forward, but not the posture, right? We're going to keep the posture stable. Good. One more deep breath. A little bit of gentle tugging between those fingers, pulling them apart, and then release. Right arm high. Left arm high. Let's do a little bit of scissoring up and up. Got too much floor, don't I? Up and up. There we go. Just finding our balance this morning. Up, up. Good. Now I'm scissoring for stability first. Ribs are engaged, drawing down while the abs pull up and in. Just stretching the shoulders. But I don't want my rib cage to move while I do it. So keeping that control, keeping that charge right here. Up, and up. Four more scissors. Three more. Two and one. Excellent job. Let's march again on the right. Now, slowly but surely, I want to bring that right foot forward, left foot back, right foot, right forward. Plant your feet right here. We're going to bend both knees. Stand it up. As you bend your knees, keep the upper body very vertical. The motion of knee bending should take us straight down to the floor and then straight up as we extend. Squeeze that left glute. Stand it up. I want my hips to stay as level as possible. Stand it up. Great job. Relax those shoulders, everybody. And bend. If you did this with me on Tuesday, we did it with weights. Hopefully, you got some muscle memory built into the body at this point. Lower. It's okay to hold on to your chair for these. Bend. And stand. Good. Now, let's go ahead and use that chair back. Keep your balance. Right foot is still forward, left foot is back. I'm gonna reach the left heel back behind me. Press the heel into the floor. Now push off the toes, but keep the toes on the floor. Reach the heel back, push away. Reach the heel into the floor, push it away. Now while I do this, I still wanna keep everything very balanced. I wanna avoid locking that left knee. The lot of reliance on that right leg for support and strength. Keep that leg bent. Reach it back, forward, back, and forward. Now that left arm is going to get involved. Reach it back. Now reach it up. Heel back. Press off the toes. Peel back. Push off the toes. Peel back. Push off the toes. Good job. Let's bring the arm down. Step forward. Balance on that left leg. Give me a little twist out with the right. Still fighting for stability. As you twist that femur bone, that thigh bone, keep the body still. And three. There's two. And one, a little faster. Yeah, find that beat. Twist it out. Go ahead and free the hands for a moment and see if you can still keep the body stable through here as you twist that thigh bone. Doesn't have to be a big twist. Doesn't even have to be this fast. I just want you to find that accuracy and loosening up everything around the joint. Great job. I'm gonna shake that out. We're gonna do our lunges on the other side. Start with the left march. Slowly but surely we're bringing the left foot forward. Right foot back. There we 
go. Now plant your feet, get ready. Feet are in line with hips. You're gonna slowly bend, slowly stand. So go ahead and squeeze that right glute to get the stretch on the front of the hip and bend, stand, bend. Good, we're gonna do six more reps just like that. Whoa, use your chair for balance if you need it. Stand and bend. If this bothers your joints, go to a squat, extending those hips back over the chair. Okay, or hold the lunge position. If it's the movement that hurts the joint, stop and hold your lunge. Great job, down and up one more time, and down. Now here's my chair, I'm gonna press that right heel back into the floor and get established with my balance. I've got some nice leverage out of that left leg, keep the knee bent and push the heel away, press it back. Push the heel up, push it into the floor. Lift it, lower it. There you go. I'm gonna do five more just like that. That's a nice stretch, but also a nice engagement to push the heel up. Really push the toes into the floor as you do that. I wanna cue the glute as you lift the heel. I want you to feel that up and down the back of that leg. Press and down. Two more. This is what I want you to engage when you're climbing stairs. Pretending that that front foot is on a step. Up, you're pushing with the leg behind you. Push off of those toes. And then step forward. There we go. All right, we're gonna stand on that right foot and twist, 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 twist. There we go. Rotate that femur bone, that thigh bone. Remember to try to let go. See if you can keep the stability of the torso, shoulders to hips, very still. Two more, then we're gonna double time that knee, that thigh twist, here we go. That's optional, by the way. You don't have to take it fast if you don't want to, but just rotating for four, three, two, and one. Right on. Let's get a drink of water. I'll meet you right back here. Grab your two weights. Okay. You know what I lied. Grab one single weight, all right? Chris, hi. I'm pre-taping and you found me. <laughs> Welcome. All right, feet are planted. Now, I want you to sit on the very front edge of your chair. The kettlebell is right in front of your nose, all right? Or the weight or the water bottle, whatever you've got here. It doesn't have to be anything heavy, but I do want to mobilize the shoulders here by wrapping the weight around the crown of the head. Right there, work hard at keeping those ribs stable. Uh-huh, let's go the other direction, please. Wrap it around. Sitting tall the whole time. Feel those shoulders wrap around the body. If there's a grinding or something that hurts when you do this, don't do it. Or do it unweighted. Or lift a little higher, like so, to make your range a little smaller and more manageable. All right and bring it down. Go ahead and put your weight on the floor. Bring your hands up to your neck. Right at the base of the skull. This is where I want my thumbs to be. I'm gonna fold the elbows in and fold them open. Open. This is a really great skill to retain. Being able to reach behind your head comfortably with the shoulders. Now I understand over time things get be, may become a little painful in the shoulders or limited in mobility. But barring any of those things, this is a really good range to be able to maintain with your shoulders. You should be able to reach behind your head every day unless you've got those limitations I was talking about. I understand. All right, building some heat up in that mid back. Squeeze the shoulder blades together as you pull the elbows back. Two more. 
and one more. Woo, that was warm. Reach up and then down and around. Yeah, roll those shoulders for me. Right, left, right, left, right. Sit up tall. All right, awesome job. We're gonna pick up one single weight again. This one I'm gonna do is rest my forearm on my knee. So my stance is pretty wide in my feet. My sits bones are balanced on the chair and I'm just gonna extend the arm, keep it on the leg, curl it up to the shoulder. Extend the arm down, curl it up to the shoulder. Now remember that could be your laundry stove, right? It could be a can of food. Whatever it is that you've got at home that provides adequate resistance for you. I don't want it to be too heavy. Curl, this is your preacher's curl right here. And curl. Four more reps. Stay with it. Three, so notice we're using that leg and that arm for leverage. One more. There you go. And switch sides. Curl the weight. Find full extension through the arm. Curl the weight. Full extension. Curl. Now, if one side feels stronger than another, not unusual, but ideally, you're going to work each side with the same amount of weight. If you've got a side that's compromised and you can only manage five pounds and the other one can do eight pounds, for example, do five pounds on both sides. I don't want you to imbalance your body while you're recovering. We can add reps if we need to. If both sides need to work lighter, do more reps. One more time. There we go. Reach it down. Very nice job. We're going to reach those arms out. As you reach back, be careful that you're not pushing the rib cage forward out of placement. Okay, what, from here, I want you to flip the arms down so the thumbs are pointing down. Lift the chest and then reach those arms as far away from you as you can back behind you. As you open the chest, engaging mid-back to get that engagement going. Breathe. As you twist the arm, that should give you a nice bicep stretch. Another way into that stretch is to lace the hands behind you and then pull the hands back. That also works. All right, shake the arms out. Very nice job. Let's go ahead and pick up that weight again. This time it's alongside the chair. We're still seated on the front edge of that chair. We're gonna pull the elbow up. This is your suitcase carry. Remember, you can do this standing or seated. Standing or seated. Elbow up, lower it down. Elbow up, lower it down. Elbow up and back, I should be saying. Up and back, it's behind us. Meanwhile, we're keeping this height the same. Don't let that shoulder creep up. So don't lift the weight too high. That's the take home message on this one. You're gonna do two more. There we go. And one more. There it is, nice. Now, right arm out. I want you to turn, turn towards me and then take it back out to the side. There we go, yes. Bring it back to the front. Rotate, rotate, take it out to the side again. Uh-huh, you thought this was gonna be a recovery. This is engagement, this is work. Keep it going, it's okay to keep it a little lower, just don't go above shoulder height. All right, and here we go. Hold that stretch right there. Now, it could be here. It could be a little higher. Just make sure it's smart for you. Take a nice deep breath. You got it. Breathe. We're going to gently release that stretch. Take it to the other side, starting with the suitcase carry. Got to scoot over on my chair here and pull the elbow up and back, down. Meanwhile, the posture stays very squared. 
Sometimes the body kind of naturally wants to rotate back into that lift, but I want you to stay squared forward with the shoulders, the ribs, the hips, and pull the elbow up and back, lower it down. Elbow up and back, lower it down. Good, stay with it. Keep growing taller out through your posture, out through the top of the head. Watching that shoulder here, making sure it doesn't hike up, just pull the elbow up and back behind you. When I lift it back behind me, I can feel the triceps working too. Lifting and lowering two more. You're doing great. Pull it back, down. One more time. There we go. Set that weight down carefully. Reach the arm out to the side and start to rotate. Rotate. Good. Bring it up forward. Hello. <laughs> Take it out to the side. Bring it forward. Good. About four beats going back. Three, four, and forward. Two, three, four. And out, two, three, four, and forward, two, three, good work, and out, two, three, four. I'm just keeping the hand open as I do this. One more time. Bring it forward, okay, and a stretch. Here it is, bending, supporting either from the front, reaching around and holding it from the back. Remember that little trick of reaching the fingertips down the spine to reach for something a little bit longer for the back of that arm. Keep those ribs stacked right over your hips. Take a few deep breaths. With each exhale, see if you can't release that stretch a little more. Get a little more length down. Doesn't mean you have to pull on that elbow anymore. Just want you to feel the muscles relaxing and lengthening right where they are. <sighs> Gently let go. Yeah, right on. Roll those shoulders out, shake the arms a little bit. Let's get another drink of water and we'll come back and work those legs a little bit more. All right, I'm gonna turn my chair. You can just move your chair to where it's uh, a workable angle and you can still see and follow along. I'm gonna balance, first of all, I'm standing over to the right of my chair. I'm gonna balance on my left foot. My right heel, I'm gonna pick it up. Now when I did that, I wanna keep that knee, that right knee right underneath the hip, right under the hip. What we're gonna do is one little heel lift and then one little push back. Heel is gonna go back. Now my hamstring is already loading, I'm starting to feel it. If it gets to be crampy, gang, extend the leg and stretch it out, okay? So, here we go. We're gonna curl the heel up, push it back. Bring it in and lower down. Not all the way, but part way. Curl, push it back. Now I'm only pushing it as far back as I can keep my pelvis stable. So if I push it back and things begin to tip, I've gone too far. Lower down and curl. Push the heel back, bring it back in. You notice my range is really small. Let's go a little faster. Curl, push, in and down and curl, push, in and down and breathe. You've got to have a lot of glute going on if we're going to keep that pelvis stable right underneath the rib cage. That's hard to do first thing in the morning. Because <laughs> typically, I'm uh, very tight right here on any given day, at any time of day, but especially in the morning. That might be the case for you too. In and down. In and down. Lift, push, in and down. Controlling all directions. Good, one more. All right, we're gonna stand on that right foot and twist the balance leg. Remember that? Just twist it out. This is a nice way to recover in that standing leg. Twisting, twisting, trying to relax all these muscles, especially the TFL, the iliacus, iliopsoas, 
four, three, two, and one. That feels much better. Now we're gonna hit the other side. So rather than step farther away from you, I'm just gonna turn my chair around. Going into that hamstring curl for the left leg, balance on the right, or whichever foot is opposite from what you just worked, okay? You know the routine, it's a curl, push back, bring it in, and lower it down, part way down, curl, push the heel away, bring it in, yes, good morning hamstring, gotta stretch that, curl, <laughs> push, bring it in, lower down, curl. Now if that right hip gets hot, tired of being stood upon, for so long. Feel free to take a break and shake that out. I don't want you to be standing here in agony. So bring it in, lower down. One more at half time. Curl. Push it back. Tight, right? And down. Here we go. Use that glute to push. Bring it in and down. And curl. Push. Keep that ankle flexed the whole time. So you're reaching out through the bottom of the heel. Let's do three more. Stay with it. Two. Last one. Great job. Yeah. And let's twist out that standing leg. Twist it out. Twist. Twist. You got it. Breathe. Three. Three more. Excellent job, shake those legs out. All right, here's my chair, I'm standing right behind it. We're gonna do some spine stretch forward. Keep those hands connected to the chair back. As you round down, keep them there, out in front of you. And I'm trying to reach the crown of my head to the front end of that chair. Rounding, rounding, take a deep breath. Exhale, rise up. Now as I round forward, I want to keep my hips right over my heels and perhaps even extend them back a little bit. Well, you're gonna have to, to counterbalance. So, but soften those knees if you need to. Soften the knees. Ooh, a little bit stiff today through my low back. Take a deep breath. Just takes a little time to work that out. Rounding. Now so that I capture the feeling of rounding forward, I'm gonna move my hands a little bit further forward. Take a deep breath. Pull the abs up, pull the ribs up. Hips in and stack on top of your hips and heels. Try it again, inhale. Exhale, rounding down. Move your hands forward to the seat. Take a deep breath. Exhale, round it up, bend those knees as needed here. I don't want those to be in agony, but I do want to stretch. Take a deep breath. Exhale, round it down. Shoulders are just hanging heavy on the body, nice and heavy. Take a deep breath. Exhale, rise up. I'm softening my knees. We're gonna do two more. If you're getting dizzy, take a break. If you're getting dizzy, keep the breath going. If I'm exhaling to go down, I'm gonna inhale to prepare. Woo, stand on my feet. Push into the floor to rise up. Let's do one more. If this is hurting your low back, I want you to really key into those abs a little bit more to bring yourself up. So that as we prepare to come up, pull your abdominals back, pull them up and in, and then rise up. That should take some of the strain off of the low back during that roll up. That was great. All right, grab a drink of water. Excellent job today. All right, let's get those weights going again. I'm gonna move my chair out of the way. Here we are, standing nice and tall. 
You can sit, you can stand, whatever works here. This one works a little bit better standing. It's your upright row. Being careful not to over shrug your shoulders, all right? So that means as the elbows float up and out, the shoulders have remained in their home position. In other words, this isn't happening, right? No scarecrow, not today. Elbows out wide, slide the weights down. And if you were to just watch the weights, they're going straight up and straight down because I'm bending those elbows out wide. If I were to keep the elbows close to the body, things would become a lot less stable, especially the shoulders. So keep the elbows wide. Keep the posture tall and proud as the elbows go wide. And down. And two. Down. And one. Great job. Bend your knees, put the left weight down. Hold your weight at the shoulder, right side. Left foot forward, right foot back, and push. Bring it down. Push. Bring it down. Push. That was three. Let's go a little faster for two. Slow it down again. Let's do three slow. Down. Two. Slowly down. Find that control on the descent. Now two quicker. Let's change our arms. Curl that way to the shoulder. You're gonna do three slowly. One, bring it down. Pull those abs up and in. Find that low, that low back support. One more slower one. Now two a little quicker. One, two, slow. Up, down, good, and again. One more slow one, and then we pick it up for two. Ready? Here it is. One, two. Excellent job. And bring that down. All right, we're going to do a little bit of rowing. Single arm row. Here's your chair. I'm going to hinge forward. Yes, getting a stretch on the backs of those legs, but mostly finding some nice support. Now, this is a little bit low for me. Notice my spine is about horizontal. If you don't want to go so far into your hinge, then come upright a little bit and support yourself on your leg, okay? The further down you go, certainly don't drop those shoulders below hips, but the further down you go, the more resistance you create, right? It's all gravity. Let's see what happens when I add two. Feel free to double your weights if you can hold them. If they're cans of soup, don't try that. <laughs> There we go, four more. Three, two, and one. Yay, I'm gonna reduce that weight by one. Hold the weight right there. What I want you to feel here is the load being carried by the back of the arm. I'm gonna push it back halfway. Bring it in, halfway. Bring it in, halfway to extension is what I'm talking about here. Just half a range, push it back, bring it in, push it back, good, now let's try full range a little faster, Woo! reach, two more, there's two, and one, yay, stand up, right on, I was building some nice heat for that shoulder, let's go back to our row, if you doubled up side A, you should double up side B, just for the rowing portion. Okay, here's my chair. Pull. I'm gonna try to keep my hips slightly lower than my shoulders. Down. Pull. The arm stays close to the body as we pull the elbow back. Down. Pull. Good, keep those abs drawn up and in to support your back in this posture. One more, and then we go a little faster for six reps. Are you ready? Here we go. Oh, I just confused my reps with the triceps, didn't I? <laughs> All right, put one of those down. Stand up for a minute. Give your posture.
posture, a little bit of a break. All right, now we go into some tricep extension. I want you to feel the load on the back of the arm right here, upper arm. We're gonna take this slowly, just part range out, bring it in. What I want you to practice on these partial extensions is keeping the shoulders stable, okay? When we begin to press farther, people get into trouble and they start to over grip that shoulder or rotate the body. There we go. One more, then we go into full extension for six reps, a little faster. There we go. Three, halfway there. Three, two, one. Bring it down and in. Yay, put that down. Great job. Woo! Let's roll those shoulders. Give me a little weight shift in the feet. Roll those shoulders out. Three, two, one. All right, now we're gonna keep those feet wider, just as I was, and I'm gonna do a little trunk rotation. So I'm gonna pivot the feet, pick up that outside foot, pick it up and twist. So the foot that's behind you is the one that we're really intentionally pivoting to get a little more upper body rotation going. Now right now it might feel like everything is rotating all together at the same time to the same degree, and that's fine. Ultimately we wanna to begin to separate and dissociate the bony structures of the body. So slow it down a little bit and see if you can twist the shoulders and the rib cage a little bit farther than the hips. Whew. Looking behind you, be careful. If this feels ballistic and you know what that looks like, then avoid it. It's a control progression, control. Stay slow. You're in total control here, right? <laughs> All right, center it up. Wonderful job. <clears throat> we're gonna do one set of squats, and then we're gonna bring it down for a stretch. Here we are. All right, I'm gonna hold my weight here. If you've got a dumbbell, you're gonna hold it end to end, right in the center of the body. Your chair is right behind you. Move those feet back right up against the chair legs to prepare to sit, not quite all the way, and then stand up. Righto. Now, if you wanna modify that, just part way back and then stand it up. Let me show you those two from the side. I'm going as far down as I can without actually sitting. I'm touching the chair or your partial squat right there. I'm still extending the hips back behind me. That's key in a squat. You gotta push those hips back and stand up. What that does, it allows me to keep my upper spine vertical and supported. There's a little bit of a lean forward, but not much. go. Sit back, stand up. Sit back, stand up. Three more. Pull those abs up and in. Here's two. One more. Right there. Great job. Let's put that weight down. I'm going to change your music out just real quickly. Okay, I'm still here. <laughs> Just wanted something a little quieter for our stretching. Have a seat. I want to hug that right knee into the chest. So you could either go about it from underneath or in the front, sitting up tall. So not only are we hugging the knee in with the biceps rather than the shoulders, but we're lifting the chest up. The posture is proud and lifted. And I'm definitely not hanging into my low back to support that knee lift. Just a gentle, progressive stretch, hugging the knee in a little closer with each breath. Take 
to the other side, sitting up, trying your best to stay upright rather than tilting back or rocking back. Stay right here, lengthen out through the crown, shoulders sliding down the back. stretcher that's fine too keeping it stable and then progressively adding a little resistance as you go by pushing the knee out match that resistance that stretch feeling with the abs toning feel that build your posture up right shoulders down the back Finally cross the knee over the knee, and we're going to twist to the right. Now's a really nice time to think of telescoping the posture up, or grotating, is what I like to call it. Spiral it up, slide the shoulders down, and just think of reaching out through the crown of the head for a moment. Try to isolate that feeling up through the crown. it is for me. I'm going to make this active by lifting and lowering the knee. Sitting as tall as I can. I want to feel those sits bones beneath me. There we go. And then hold the stretch if you're comfortable with that or keep moving it. It's really whatever is feeling best for your body today. That's what's important here. Is that the stretch gives you relief. It gives you relaxation. Breathe, and the posture is tall. The last thing we want is for a stretch to cause extra tension or more pain. All right, so keep that as your guide. Use that as your guide. I just found a little more length to my spine. Sit a little taller away from those hips. Lift the rib cage away from the hips. Now we'll cross that knee over the other knee and go into your left rotation. It may feel different than side A. That would be perfectly normal. But we do want to work towards balance. So if one side is a little tighter, you might want to spend more time on that side until you feel like, yeah, that's about the same. We're close to it without altering your good natural lines. Now remember to telescope out through the top of the head, slide the shoulders down the back, lift, maybe look a little farther over your shoulder. Let's gently unwind. Ah, that feels better right in front of you. I'm going to allow you, for the sake of contrast, to just fold forward and lay on your legs. Let the arms hang. Let the head hang. Just let your body weight be very heavy over your legs. 
Hopefully that's a positive stretch for your low back. If it's not, build support into the system by pushing either on the feet or hands into the knees. Place your hands on your knees and let's push our posture back up with our arms. Push the body weight up off of the legs. There we go. Now, instead of just folding forward, I want you to round forward now. And that means you're probably not going to lay on the legs ultimately. We're just going to round as though there's a ball right here on your legs that you are rounding over and then re-stack back up. Another way to think of this is that you're sitting up against a wall. I want you to peel away from that wall. And it's easier with those hips free, meaning you're not backed up against your chair. And then re-stack up. And here's something I'd like you to try on your own at home. In your free time. I've got a lot of it these days. Is to try that roll down um, up against a wall. Okay, so make sure your feet are out in front of you, probably eight inches away from the wall. Stack your spine up against the wall, head, shoulders, tailbone. Everything is neutral. Now I'm going to peel away from the wall. I'm going to keep my hips connected to the wall, softening the knees, keep your hips there. As I round forward, there's a nice healthy stretch. And then I'm going to rise back up to neutral. I'm going to try that one more time. Inhale. Exhale, nod. Peel your spine one vertebra at a time away from the wall. Soften the knees as you go down. Take a deep breath. Now I'm going to really slide the pelvis down the wall. Get that imprint here, upper spine, and shoulders. There's my neutral. All righty. Try that at home this week. I'll see you next week, next Tuesday. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.